Hi, my name is Rola, and welcome to day 10 of our 21-day devotional series through the character and attributes of our great God. I serve on the prayer team at King City Church. It seems fair to say that our world has become deeply polarized and filled with distrust. In a 2023 study done by Edelman Holdings, 46% of adults reported not trusting the government. 42% of adults reported not trusting in media. Only 61% of people reported trusting others in their local community. In the United States, only 20% of adults reported being willing to have a coworker that disagreed with them or their point of view. Only 30% of people in the United States would be willing to help a person they disagreed with if that person found themselves in a position of need. A society with such little trust will inevitably break down. Relationships with neighbors, coworkers, families, church family, and friends will in invariably deteriorate. This is why the trustworthiness or faithfulness of God speaks so loudly to our current context. Our anchor text today speaks of God's abounding faithfulness. Exodus 34, 6 says, And he passed in front of Moses, proclaiming, The Lord, the Lord, the compassionate and gracious God, slow to anger, abounding in love and faithfulness. When the Bible speaks of God as being faithful like this, it is talking about God being trustworthy and reliable. As theologian Herman Babnick says, God is a perfectly reliable refuge for all of his people. In a world filled with misinformation, fake news, and spin, we have a perfectly reliable source in God. And if God is a reliable source, then not only can we put our trust in Him, we too can offer rest to those who are slow and reluctant to trust in Him. We can offer hope to those who think there is no hope for society continuing to erode. We can stand confidently on the reliability of the scriptures as they reveal a God who is consistent and competent to rescue us from our own sins and failures. We can rest assured knowing that in a world filled with unreliable people who disappoint us, God always has our best interest in mind and is thus worthy of our trust. Biblical faith is not simply knowing the right thing. It's believing those things to be true and subsequently staking our confidence in them. Or to use the words of Martin Luther, faith is a living, bold trust in God's grace so certain of God's favor that it would risk death a thousand times trusting in it. Such confidence and knowledge of God's grace makes you happy, joyful, and bold in your relationship to God and all creatures. Let's pray. Father, we know that this world is eroding. We know it is hard to put our trust in the things of this world. But we thank you, Lord, that we know and trust that you will equip us and make us, Father God, Lord, the creatures that you called us to be. And we would even be able to encourage others to know that in this world that seems like it's on rocky ground, that, that they can point and we can point our eyes towards you, the one who is the rock, and that we would be able to stand on solid ground in the midst of trial or tribulation. We thank you, Father God, Lord, because of who you are. In Jesus' name we pray. Don't forget to join us tonight for a time of prayer. Please see the Zoom link below.